we take this time tonight. It's an all life matter on Blog Talk Radio and on the YouTube All Life Matter. This is March the second, going into March the third. Thank you, you and you, for coming on board. I want to share something special with you tonight body, mind, soul, and spirit. Those are looking for a breakthrough. The angel Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, and the archangel, the covenant, the ark of the covenant, and the angels that I want to share with you tonight. That's the pyramid of Giza, and those are the angels, stars. This is the Ark of the Covenant we're looking at. This is Metatron, Gabriel, and Michael. These are the angels that we're highlighting tonight. I want to say to you tonight, this is March the 2nd. And I want to thank you for getting ready for God to bless you, for a door to open up for you. The things that you reveal and God's going to reveal to you tonight. And we're going to talk a little about the angels tonight. This go out for the young men that are locked up in the federal institutions and in the state institutions and those that are locked up and don't know it. We're praying for every family. We're praying tonight for a breakthrough for you and you. Don't forget, go to our website, thusseedaabrahamyellowsite.com. Go to the home page. If you might need to write a call me, you can write Post Office Box 289097, Chicago, Illinois, 606. 28. I will send you the Ark of the Covenant. I will send you the three archangels. And I will send you the Ten Commandments. But you must request them from me. And I want you to know that tonight. We're praying for you, Mayor Francis. We're praying for you, Sister Mag down in Atlanta. And we're praying for you, Sister Carrie Nine. We are praying for you, the whole non family. We are praying for God bless you tonight. Every door that been closed, all lives matter to God tonight. And that's what we want to say. All lives matter to God tonight. As we get ready to open up the doors tonight, this is March the second. And our Archangel is Archangel Michael. He's the angel for this month. East, West, North, I want to say happy birthday to you, Queen Hope. And I want you to know that every door closed will be opened up. I'm excited what God's going to do. I want to thank you and you for coming. And as we come and as we play music, as we talk, the doors will be open up for you. I want to share this with you tonight. And I got a scripture I want to share with you tonight. I'm praying for the sick to shed in, wherever you might be tonight. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for you that lost a loved one, a mother, sister, brother, and you don't know, lost a grandmother, grandfather. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for your healing tonight. Life matter, all lives matter. We had a, a hundred people to get killed from January to February, probably 150 now by March. But we're praying and we decreeing a healing in these cities. We decree a healing in Chicago, in Atlanta, in Gary, in, in the state of Indiana, the state of Illinois, the state of Mississippi, the state of Georgia, the state of Texas and the state of Nevada and the state of Oklahoma. We are declaring healing tonight. 
for you, you and you. God bless you. Every telephone call, every letter. I want to say that God is able to keep you grounded. And I want you to get ready for God to bless you tonight. Get ready for a door to open up for you. If God's going to do anything but fail, there's no failure in God. So tonight, I want to share with you tonight that uh, this is Archangel Michael month, St. Michael. If you need uh, a picture of St. Michael, call me. I'll send you a picture of St. Michael. Matter of fact, I will send you a picture of St. Michael. I send you a picture of Gabriel and Metatron. Metatron is the angel that go in the physical realm and the spirit realm. Gabriel is the angel of resurrection, and he tend the graveyard. That's what Gabriel do. And Michael fight the devil, Archangel Michael. This is his month. People that born in March, their angel is Archangel Michael. And as we pray for those that lost life in the, in the tornado down in southern Illinois, those that are in Missouri, those that have problems with the tornado and the flood, we're praying for that family. And we're praying that the family open up. And we're asking God to deliver and open doors up. And God can do anything but fail. There's no failure in God. I want to thank God for the healing, for the breakthrough, and I want to thank God for what he's doing in your life and what God doing. I want to share a scripture with you tonight as we get ready to talk tonight. This is the angel Gabriel and Metatron. That's the angel Metatron and Gabriel. Uh, Metatron is the angel move in the physical realm and spirit realm. Tonight, this is uh, a Thursday night, all lives matter. You might not think it matter, but it do. Here's a picture of Archangel Michael I got. These are black angels. And some of you might be scared of that, of the angel. Tonight, I want to share a scripture with you tonight. And that scripture I want to share with you should be a blessing for you. Uh, I want to tell you tonight as we get ready for uh, uh, Prophet Betty down in Homer, Louisiana. I talked to her earlier and we shared some things together. I want to thank you for coming on the air, Prophet Betty. And I want to thank you, Prophet Tina, for always being on the air with me. Prophet Smith, always on the air. And uh, Prophet Hattie always on the air also there's no secret what god can do this is march the first if you need to plant a seed you need to get a donation to me if you got a need you plant a seed and when you plant that seed god automatically will kick in and start to working for you uh prophet smith i want you to read uh genesis 12 and I want you to read that whole chapter as a blessing for you going into this month. And God bless you. And, you know, sometimes you have to ask God to open up special doors for you. Because God's word speaks to what's going on in our life. And sometimes you don't want to accept what God's saying. Uh, I don't know if prophet. Smith at home or not. If you're at home and you can read your Bible, press one, Prophet Smith. I'll let you read for us tonight. This all lives matter. And to all the people that got killed, when you talk about the young man in New York that was choked by the police, when you talk about Sandra Bland down in Texas that died, when you talk about uh, Michael Brown that died, Lacan McDonald that died by the hand of people that are evil. And I want to say all lives matter. And what we're trying to tell you, only what you do for Christ that would light last. And when you get ready for God to bless you tonight, east, west, north, and south. 
And I want to share that with you tonight. And I want to share a story with you tonight. And it's, it's for your healing. And I'm praying for you, uh, Dr. David Coleman. I'm praying for you also. Prophet Alexander, I'm praying for you. Uh, Prophet uh, Roselle with Danny Monroe, I'm praying for you. And those that need prayer. You know, sometimes you got to let go and let God. Prophet Sue, I'm also praying for you and your daughter. And I want to say to you tonight, you have to let go and let God. And let God direct your path. Sometimes you can't do it by yourself. And I want to tell you, I want you to go knowing, sowing, and flowing in the right direction. And that's the direction towards God. And once you move towards God, he'll move towards you in the healing. Glory, hallelujah. The healing will come and bless you. The healing will come and deliver you. And the healing that you need will be a breakthrough for you. And I'm praying for you, Sister Mag, down in uh, Mississippi. I think it's in Pickin, Mississippi. I'm praying for you also. Sometimes every letter, every telephone call mean a touch from God. This is March the 1st. And we're going into March the 2nd. And, and tonight we are being March the 3rd. And Archangel Michael is the angel of March. And you need to know who's the angel of March. You need to understand what do that mean. Because God has sent his angels out to watch over and guide us and care us to another level. And when God uh, speaks the word, we have to obey the word of God. We got to know that God speaking his word to us to deliver us to another level. I want to thank God for Patricia. God bless you, Patricia. And sometimes you have to wait on God to direct your paths. Sometimes your paths get all bogged up and you don't know what's happening to you. You don't know what happened to you, Sister Deborah Pickett. I'm praying for you. God bless you with that brand new truck. That's a blessing from God. And there's more blessings coming for you. I want to pray and bless you, Brother Wayne, down in Texas, that you said you wanted you a car and you got it. You know, when, when you pray about something, God will deliver it to you quick, fast. And somebody just said, Bishop, he do it in a hurry. And I want to tell you, God is no short than his word. And I want to let you know, all lives matter tonight. And if I don't say nothing, I want to let you know, God made us to love each other. God made us to understand that all lives matter. So I, I don't buy into just one life matter. Every life matter to God. And if you're a child of God, uh, if you know God, God will direct your paths and carry you to the level where you need to go. And I'm going to share a few scriptures with you tonight. We'll open up a door for you where you will understand that God matters. Sometimes you don't know where to go. Sometimes you don't know what to do. And sometimes you do all you can do and you forget God. And you, you're doing it because you can do it. You didn't ask God what you want done. And I'm praying for families that have lost homes and lost property. All matter that God will restore everything the devil stole. God going to give it back to you. And I want you on this March month to set a big bowl of water up on your table, on your bedroom, uh, or get a pitcher of water and set it up. And let that water stay in your bedroom the whole month of March. And at the last point, month of March, I will tell you what to do with it. I say, I say, uh, to our ancestors, all lives matter. They have 
when you talk about the Holocaust, you're talking about 60 million Jews, we're talk talking about 160 million black people that they stole from Africa. They brought on the ship here to America, made our ancestor work night and day. And here it is, the 20th, the 17th, we got people lying in the White House. We got the whole system breaking up. What I'm saying, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, have everlasting life. You got people is not tending to God's word. You got people that have turned their back from God. And I want to play this tonight for you. Get ready for healing. Get ready for deliverance. That's the pyramids in Jesus right there. And those are the angels. That's Michael. That's Gabriel. That's Metatron. Those are three angels that descended on Egypt. No, I want to share with you, and this is the Ark of the Covenant, and the Ten Commandments is in the Ark of the Covenant, and it protect you. Now, if you need for me to send you, so Bishop, send me the Ark of the Covenant to put in my house. Send me the three archangels. Uh, send me uh, the Pyramid from Giza with the consenting angels, light shone. Now, if you want that, you write me, uh, Bishop Turner, Post Office Box 289097, Chicago, Illinois, 60628, and I will get it to you in the mail. Write a letter and say, Bishop, this is what I want done, this is what I'm asking God for, a home, a healing, I'm asking God for the deliverance. If you don't drug, dope, and alcohol, I want to pray for you. God said, <coughs> I'm married to the backslider, and God wants to embrace you tonight, and God wants to do something special for you tonight. God still loves you. Your family got rid of you. You're, you're, you're all caught up. And I'm praying for Sister Mary Hawkins tonight lost her sister, there's no sorrow on, on, on earth, but heaven could not, heaven could not heal Mary, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for the Lord, and I'm also praying for Pearl, I'm going to tell all of y'all, God is able, and I want you to know, God is too intelligent to make a mistake, I want you to get ready, God will open up that door for you, and he will open that door. And I want to pray in the spirit of Mother Annie Bacon tonight, in the spirit of Mama Annie, in the spirit of Sister Verba, in the spirit of the saints of God and the angels. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, you're going to get better. Better things are going to happen to you and for you. The storm and the flood. But God still is not through with you. I, I'm praying for you, Sister Regina. Uh, Vera, I'm praying for you. And I'm praying for you, Sister Pam. I'm praying for you also. And Sister Denise, I'm praying for you. And I want you to know, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for my breakthrough. You got to thank him for your healing, for your deliverance tonight. You have to thank God for the breakthrough. You have to thank God for what he's doing for you. And he's going to do it quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I want to tell you that I want you to read St. Mark and I want you to start at St. Mark tonight. And uh, I just want you to read St. Mark 8 chapter, that whole chapter, when you get some time, you read that. 
that be a blessing for you. Brother Seal, I'm praying for you too. And I want to tell you, Sister Rose, I'm praying for you tonight. Somebody ought to say hallelujah to the power and the anointing of God. You know, I got a feather here from one of the angels here. Did you see that feather? A pretty black feather, okay? This is the year of the rooster. And this is the lunar year. And I want to be kind of psychic to tell you what's going to happen. Uh, I want you to understand that those will open up for you. And the God and angel will come and watch over you. And I want to share that with you tonight. I'm going all the way to Detroit. I'm praying for Sister uh, uh, Sister Annie. Uh, things are going to be all right. Uh, Sister Pearl, I'm praying for you and the Lord. And I'm also praying for uh, Sister Hawkins, Mary Hawkins lost their sister and I want to tell you there's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal tonight I talked earlier and I want you to know and it's a it's a Bible word I want to give you tonight and it's John 1 is an in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God so the word was with God and the word was God and all things was made by God and what I want to say tonight them that lost loved ones and we've been decreeing about this death and y'all said well that would be crazy but if you're anointed woman and anointed man of God you can decree some things and God will hear you tonight out of thing every Thursday night all lives matter to God. Let me say it again. All lives matter to God. That means your life, my life, is all matter to God. When you understand that, God have control over your life, over your being. God have a control over everything happened in your life. Maybe you might not want to accept it, but God have a control over you. And you got to accept what God said and what God do. So it's very important for me to tell you that tonight. And I, I told you to read uh, the scripture I told you earlier to read. I wanted you to read. And I told you uh, earlier, this is March. Archangel Michael is the angel of March. And every month, there's an angel that God has put over that month. And the reason God do that, because when the, the Chinese said this is the, the year, the lunar year, some people didn't understand that. I want to explain to you that when seven tornadoes hit down in New Orleans, and New Orleans is below sea level. You know, hardly get no tornado below sea level. Sea level. But anyway, the radar in Baton Rouge and in Shreveport didn't pick up the seven tornadoes for Louisiana, okay? They didn't pick it up. That show you God is a lunar year. Okay, the tornadoes, the, the seven tornadoes, since uh, Louisiana is close to Dallas, Dallas should have picked it up, and it's close to Arkansas. Arkansas radar should have picked it up because it's close to Memphis. Memphis radar should have picked it up. But now one of the radar, the ra the radar, the weather radar for, for Memphis is in Nashville. Okay. The 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 weather for Lur for Arkansas is in Little Rock. That's where the weather tower at to tell to tell the people if weather co coming. In Louisiana, it's in uh, Baton Rouge and 
Shreveport. Then none of them find it out. In uh, Texas, it's in Dallas. And they didn't, didn't nobody pick up the tornadoes. That's going to show you when God want to come in, he come in the way he want to come in. I just want to share that with you tonight. So God is able to do anything but fail. But I want to say this. All lives matter to God. All the other stuff you're doing is not important. If you don't understand tonight, all lives matter to God. And I want to tell Sister Betty down in Homer, Louisiana, all lives matter. And I want to say to Sister Mary in Detroit, all lives matter. And Sister Mary Hawkins, if you want to have something to say, you can press 1 on your phone. You might have a testimony. And this is the first of the month. You might have a testimony, some something you want to say that might help somebody. Maybe a word that you need to say to help somebody. All lives matter. You know, sometimes you have to realize your testimony might not mean nothing to you, but to somebody else, it lifts you out of what you're in. You know, you might escape a tornado. You might escape the accident. Maybe a bear didn't get you. Maybe yeah, it's bears in Mississippi, and it's it's lions there. It's it's a big bobcats. I was going to Las Vegas, and I seen big bobcats sitting on the mountain. See them cats jump down on you. What I'm saying to you, all lives matter to God. It's important what God thinks. It's not important what you think. All lives matter to God. Now, that's important. God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. Yes, the Ten Commandments. And they put them in the Ark of the Covenant and they carried them all over when they put them in the Ark of the Covenant. And that on the Ark of the Covenant, you couldn't tote the Ark of the Covenant that you was holy. Couldn't nobody go in the holiness of holy but the high priest. You couldn't go just a natural man. You couldn't even touch the Ark of the Covenant. You'll die. You couldn't even touch it. God had dispatched two angels to God. It. Moses seen it. Moses made it. Now the Ark of the Covenant, right now, is over in Africa. That's where the Ark of the Covenant at. And, you know, in Africa, where all life come from, and some of y'all have been so brainwashed in Christianity, and you just don't believe that a black man can serve God. They call you a, a, a bear. They call you an ape, a gorilla. They called you everything that they were. They called you that, and some of you embrace that. You don't, you don't love yourself. You don't clean up. You don't get yourself because you don't love yourself because you've been taught not to love yourself. You've been taught that that black life don't matter. You've been taught don't no life matter. But I want to share with you tonight: all lives matter to God. If you a man of God, if you're a woman of God, that means something. And I'm going to tell you, sure as the Ark of the Covenant means something, the stars mean something, and the angels, Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, mean something. The angel Raphael means something. Those are angels of God, can prayer back and forth. So I want to say March is the third month. I want to tell you, this this month, the angel of this month is Archangel Michael. Now, if you know anything about any angel, Michael fought the devil. M Michael was the one that fought the devil, and he the one kicked the devil out of out of heaven and put him in hell. Now, y'all don't like that, but that's true. And 
God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. And what he gave him to for, for us to go by him. If you ain't never, never read them, you can't go by them. Now, to show you how important it was, they put the Ten Commandments in the Ark of the Covenant. And two angels guarded the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant means the presence of God with us now. You know, that's what that means. I'm, I want to let you know, on Friday night, we have the trillion dollar flow. We're talking about money. And I want to say this, and I ain't all into the politics. It don't make me no different. Then I said, when Trump was speaking the other night, if you seen me, I said, it's all going to come out. All the lies. And it, and it looked like everybody Trump get there and lied. I mean, we, we got a government full of lies and corruption. But that's all right. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. The Lord, didn't I tell you, and we had a little meeting, we decreed on the White House, we decreed on Chicago, we decreed on Cleveland, we decreed that all this crooked stuff would come out. Now, what I'm saying tonight, our ancestry prayed. You know, when you talk about, and black folks, they show, read scripts, and they believe everything white folks say. Six million Jews been killed. A hundred million blacks been killed, been raped, robbed, and hung. But we don't. We that ain't important to us. But six million Jews is important because what happened? All lives matter. All lives matter to God. So. When you understand that, you understand when you pray, God going to give you an answer to your problem and to, to, to solution to your problem. Now, I want to share this with you tonight. Uh, for all the brothers that's in jail and those that are in federal jail, those in the local jail, those that have been accused wrongly, and some of you, your mind is so messed up, you want another drink. And with all the molesting of the little boys, the little girls, and, and some of these people said they women's a God and men's a God, and they're raping little boys, little girls in the church with the clergy caught on. You got to understand, when we pray, God responds to prayer. God responds to you fasting and praying. God responds to them that call on him. If you don't call on God, he's not going to respond. If you're not anointed, he's not going to respond. Now, I want to say that tonight because it's serious to know all lives matter to God. If you've been praying, you ain't gonna like me. And I said this in when you and, and all of us been there, but we grow from that. You know, like uh Dr. Nilly Fuller, uh Dr. Henry Clark was saying that his grandma told him the it he asked him about the picture in the church. And his grandma said, Don't worry about that. And he went on and took her at a word. But when he got older, he learned better, so he took the picture down. So what I'm saying to you, our ancestry brought Christianity from Africa. They brought Islam from Africa. They brought voodoo and hoodoo from Africa. Oh, y'all ain't liking me. And they practiced that to the white folks said that don't practice that. That is the devil. And the devil was talking to the devil. See, the devil tell you he's a devil and the devil is the devil. Okay? So what I'm saying to you, a lot of our root was taken from us. Lots of things. Prophet Betty down in Oklahoma, Louisiana, I want to say to you, thank you, Prophet Betty, that for what you told me, and she was telling me about we did a big uh, service down in 
in the month down in Mahoma, Louisiana. And we prayed for women who was, had breast cancer. Do you know the, those women got healed? God is a healer. But you got to understand God is a healer. And some of you don't understand that because you didn't got off and got off track. And you get mad when you can't get your point across. And you get mad when somebody tell you, take that picture down that you've been had up in your house, in your church. I told the pastor today, I said, man, you need to take that picture down. The people want it. I said, it ain't what the people want. It's what God want. I said, that white boy ain't coming. He looked at me. What you? I said, he ain't coming, brother. Well, what you, you blaspheming? I ain't blaspheming. Take that mess down because it ain't a God. And I began to show him the scripture. And uh, I, I got to study it. You ain't got to study it. This is what it said. If it said all life matters, that's what it means. If it said pray, that's what it means. You pray. If it means that you to love God, you love God. Amen. I thank God for you tonight. And I just wanted to share some things with you. We're going into going into March and before you know it it'll be it'll be ash we didn't had ash Wednesday some of you know what that means we're getting ready to go into Easter Lent and getting ready uh, to make your vow to God your new commitment to God your cleansing that you need and you need the healing and the deliverance that you need and God can give you that tonight if I share some things with you tonight. And I want to tell you that I'm praying much for you, uh, Brother Maurice. Uh, I'm praying for you. And Kimberly, I'm also praying for you tonight. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. See that Ark of the Covenant there? I want you to call me and say, Bishop, I need that Ark of Covenant to put in my purse. I need that Ark of Covenant right there. And it's something on the back of it you need to put on it. And you need to have it in your automobile or you need to have it in your car. The one I'm, I'm showing right now to you, this is the Ark of the Covenant. The Ten Commandments is in it. And that's the angels that watch over it. And I want you to tell me, Bishop, send me the Ark of the Covenant for my purse or uh, for my uh, wallet and I want you to send for it to get it you, and you know that God can do anything but fear that's no failure in God uh, we decree uh, Brother White and, and we decree some things in Washington D.C. it happened we decree some things in Chicago and it happened and we decree some things in Washington, D.C., and it happened. So when you decree, you're asking God for a deliverance, and you decree based on your relationship with God, based on your mental capacity and your love with God, you decree because you totally, body, mind, soul, and spirit, Trust God, and you trust God by not what you read. You trust God by what he put in your spirit and what you read, see. And then Hebrew 11 and 1 said, now faith is the substance. First, you got to have some faith, and dead faith ain't no good. You got faith, but you ain't getting out to bed. You got to have some faith that you get up and make some things happen. Okay. And when, once you do that, doors open up for you. You know, uh, Peter, James, and John went to fishing. They fished all night long. And morning was coming. They didn't catch nothing. They didn't, they, they fished all night long. You trying to make it in your business. You trying to do this here. 
but you're trying to do it yourself. I talked to Mother Love last night. She said she's doing good uh, in Yazoo City. Uh, Sister Barbara, I talked to uh, down in uh, Goodman. Sister uh, Abadella prayed for her. But they had been fishing all night long. Y'all standing with me. They had been fishing all night long. That means that they have been out there on their own trying to catch some fish. And daylight come. They know it's time to come in. We can't these fish don't bite in daylight. We have to catch them at night. They daylight, they gone way out. We can't get them. As they was coming in, listen to me. As you try to give up. As you said, I can't stop drinking, I can't stop smoking, I can't stop. God loves you, and I want to tell you, God going to pour his spirit in you, but you won't smoke, you won't drink, you won't, you won't use crack cocaine, and God going to pour his spirit to heal you. His DNA will heal you from cancer, high blood, low blood, but you got to let go and let God. You try to do it yourself. Like Peter, James, and John, they did they skilled what they were skilled to do. They they did it. But it ain't no good. Your skill ain't no good. Your intelligence ain't no good without God. I don't care how many degrees you got. I don't care how much money you got. Don't mean nothing. All the money they had down in southern Illinois and Missouri, the tornado still come and tore everything up. Okay? Tore the whole town up. That lets you know that only all lives matter to God. And, and God take it and God give it. Blessed be the name of God. I know you don't think that way. Well, I'm going to say it again. The Lord give it and the Lord take it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God got a bigger job for you. He wants you to do something else. God got a new door open up for you. And I'm going to let you know all lights matter. To the young people that's going to school, going to college, for the professors and the teachers, all lights matter. And when you can when you can love your brothers and your sister, you can begin to love God. When you got love uh, for the person that don't have, you can begin to love God. I'm, I'm talking to somebody tonight that you're down on your love. You don't know if you're going to get a job. I want to tell you tonight you're going to get the job. I want to tell you the apartment you need, whatever that, you know, those got the new truck, new car, you're going to get it. Because them that is down, God bring up. Them that are up, go down and come up, and they know what it is not to have. I was at a, a restaurant today, and I'm sitting there, and, uh, the man went in the garbage can was searching. The man said, come out of that garbage can, hollered at him. When he come out the garbage can, the man was looking for some food. The boy gave him his sandwich. He said, take this. I said, I said he, he gonna get a blessing. The man went on back outside. He could have been mentally ill. Or he could have been hungry. Or he could have been mentally ill and hungry. Because we got a lot of people that's mentally ill out here. And they raping, they killing, they doing all that because they sick. They are, uh, they got evil spirits in them, and the evil spirit got to be cast out of them. I say, you unclean spirit, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I call you out, and I plead the blood of Jesus on. That have to happen. Ain't no, ain't no way for these people to get the demons off of them. To somebody anointed, call it out. And once it's called out, you're gonna be a better woman. You got to call cancer out, high blood, cataract. You got to call it out. And once you call it off of them, it go back in the sea of forgiveness. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this to you tonight. Peter, James, and John had fished all night long. Some of you know the story. They didn't catch nothing. On the way in 
Now they was way out, but on the way in, there was Jesus. And they began to tell Jesus what happened. Didn't have to tell him, he knowed. He said, throw your net on the other side. Wait a minute, it's daylight. We've been fishing all night, we ain't caught nothing. Here's a man telling us to put the net on the other side of the boat. And we know that these fish don't bite in daylight. It's daylight now. It's time to go home because we can't get no fish because these fish is out, way out. And we can't get them at the bank. But Jesus said, cast your net on the other side. First, you got to be obedient. First, you got to know all lights matter. No tall. They threw the net and the net filled up. Number one, it was no tall. Number two, they obeyed God. Number three, all things work in the name of the Almighty God. If God said it, I believe it. And I want to tell you that little story ought to let you know. I want to I want to put a word in your spirit tonight. No tall. You ask, you ain't got the tall for it. He'll give it to you. You ain't got to jump rope and do all that. When God said you can get exactly what you want, you can get it now, quick, fast, and in a hurry. It'll come to you, and God will give you what you want and what you need. I'm praying for many of you. I want you to set up a big glass of water, a bowl of water in your kitchen for March. As you set that water up, I will tell you later on what to do with it. I want you to be spiritual. And those that got the apples, they know what they done did with that. And you know, I put some apples out when I got back. They was gone. And I said, look at him. My blessing's going to come quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know what I'm talking about. I, I'm praying for you, Sister Adrian. And I'm praying for you. Uh, uh, all of them uh, asked me to pray for them. I don't want to forget nobody. And I got letters here. And I got telephone calls where they asked me to pray. And I'm praying for you tonight that everything will be all right. I want you to go knowing, sowing, and sowing. Don't forget, if you got a need, you plant a seed. If you need the Ark of the Covenant, call me. If you need the three archangels, call me. If you need the Ten Commandments, call me or write me. And that will be a blessing for you.